Hello everyone, we are Generation Gap Reacts, a mother-daughter reaction video channel, and today is sort of my pick. It was suggested by a subscriber since we did a Kate Bush reaction to Running Up That Hill. We have been getting a lot of comments from some lovely Kate Bush fans who want us to do more of her songs. So we're just going to work our way through her albums, and we're going to start with Wuthering Heights. And... I kind of figured that this song was based off of the book by Emily Bronte and I have read this book two times so and the reason why is because it was a very hard book to interpret the first time it, it was kind of a hard read I kind of felt like I wasn't getting something or I was dumb or something so I decided to read it a second time it took that many times to kind of um, understand what was happening were you in the high school when you first read it? No, I wasn't. I was in college. So um, I just read it because I had heard, you know, it's one of the most, you know, famous novels. And I was just curious. And um, so I read it. And I did end up liking it, but it was very hard to understand the first time. But with that being said, um, I, I looked up the lyrics of this song just because I was curious, but I haven't heard the song yet. So um, I know that the song is written um, from the perspective of Catherine from the book, and mm -hmm. she's a ghost for most of the book, haunting her her lover, Heathcliff. Mm -hmm. So I, that much I know, but I'm excited to actually listen to the song. So, so am I. All right, <laughs> let's do it. That was cute. Mm -hmm. Is she supposed to be a ghost? I believe so. shocked I have not heard this song because this is exactly my wheelhouse this is exactly my type of music I love just kind of out there surprising stuff mm -hmm. I'm just so surprised I've never heard of this artist before um I I'm I'm really glad that I read the lyrics and I kind of I've read the book before because I understand what she's saying. I don't know about you. Have you ever read the book? No. Okay. Um, and it makes sense with her white dress mm -hmm. and the words that she's speaking is from the character Catherine and they had a very tumultuous relationship. Um, maybe not the healthiest relationship. Um, so I understand her lyrics but I just kind of want to listen to that over again because it's it's kind of funny because the song almost sounds whimsical but then with her lyrics and what I know that she's singing about it's not a whimsical kind Doesn't of seem like it kind of subject matter this is really different cool <laughs> I'm gonna play this again if okay. you don't mind no. And she's like telling a story through her facial expressions and her eyes. Yes, very creative. Her face is so expressive. Yes, yeah, she's definitely. And her mouth crazy. too. She's very animated. She's saying, 
and Heathcliff, it's me, it's Kathy. I'm like hypnotized by like her movement and her face. She's a good dancer. She's a really good dancer. Her movements. I really do feel like I'm seeing a ghost, like with the lighting and her white dress. That's exactly what it looks like. It's like an enchanting song, but it's also haunting at the same time. I can't, it's like both pretty and like dainty, and but then also a little, like, I don't want to say creepy. What's another word for it? But not creepy, but yeah. just like haunting her, you know. And she's sort of lit up. Yeah. Like a ghost. Like it's almost like a nightmare, but like a dream. And like with her face, it's so intense. And the way it's filmed, I don't know what you'd call it. You see multiple images. Oh yeah, like I, yeah, I get what you're saying. Like you would you would think that's how like a ghost walks. Right. Like you see yeah. it kind of like lagging or something. Wow. I'm just that's, that's I'm, creative. I am just so surprised. Like I already said, I am just so surprised um that I, I don't know if maybe she's like more famous in other countries and not so much the US. I'm not really sure because I mean, obviously I hadn't heard of her until, you know, Stranger Things, um, I'll admit. Um, but I, I just, I love it. I wanna listen to more of her song. I'm really excited to start listening to more of her music because first of all, I love Running Up That Hill. I absolutely love that song and I, I love this song too. It's just, it's like dreamy but haunting and there was a lot of emotions going on listening yeah. to that song. Yeah, I could tell. I could tell. Yeah, and I, I think it like helps that I've read the book and I can kind of understand. Um, but I, I don't know what else to say. It was a really good song. I'm really excited to keep listening to more. I don't want to like wait to listen to her music for reaction videos, but I do at the same time. <laughs> so yeah. Was that song from the 70s or the 80s? I think it said 1978 it came out. Okay. I, I've i never heard of her. I don't know why, but I've never heard of her, but she's fascinating. It is fascinating. Very um, different. Very different, unique. Um, I'm I'm surprised I've never heard of her. I mean, and even in the running up that hill video, it was just her and another male dancer, and that's all you needed. You didn't need all this, you know, because um, a lot of music videos now for modern music, there's a director and there's backup dancers and there's a storyline and a whole production. It's a whole production, and I just feel like with her music. It doesn't need that production factor. You're so focused on her and her voice. Her voice is so surprising. Her voice was really surprising. It was nothing like her the other song that we listened to, Running Up That Hill. Um, like she was using a completely different part of her voice. 
And I mean, all you needed was just her and her dancing and her facial expressions, her mouth, her eyes, her hands were really beautiful. Like she would do these like, you know, things with her hands that was really captivating. Her voice at that range almost sound, I don't know if this is the right word and I don't mean it to be negative, but sort of witchy. Oh yeah. Yeah, you know, that's not and, negative at all. So I don't know if there's another word for that, but I don't mean a, a witch with the, you know, you know, the black hat and the black outfit and the, you know, you know, scary. Uh, I mean, because she's beautiful. Yeah. But just a little witchy. Yeah, like she's captivating you with her charm and her something. Yes. Yeah. So, so it's very, very interesting. Yeah. Unique, incredibly unique. I, I loved that. I really loved that. That was super fun. Um, so thank you for suggesting that. It was um, some commenter named Leslie. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. And um, I'm excited to do more of these. Oh, yeah. Me too. All right. She's definitely unique and different. I, I absolutely love that. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like. Subscribe to our channel. We would really appreciate it. And if there's any songs you would like us to react to, please just let us know and we'll put it on the list and get to it for you. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you. Bye. Bye.